There are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? It's money everywhere. It's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You're watching Casino is the name. And I had to take a step back from YouTube to handle some business things that I had in place prior to YouTube and some things that I started uh, in the in the middle of me doing YouTube. So I had to take a step back, things in the real world that I had to take care of. Um, I'm always trying to go to the next level. So I was trying to work on how I could better increase the income that was coming in from those other areas. And for the most part, I'm done doing the things that I needed to do. I still have a couple more things that I need to take care of, um, move some money around, things like that. But, okay, so anyway, um, in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about trucking, okay? So the way I invest in things, right, I invest in things based off of trends, right? I try to look around the corner as best I can. Like, none of us can see the future, but... I look and try to adjust for what I see coming, okay? So these new vaccines, right? Well, first of all, I'm going to say trucking is looking good to me. Like if you're trying to get into trucking, I think trucking might be about to boom at least for a while. That's only because, well, I ain't going to say only because, but the, the, the country has been restricted for quite some time. Not Atlanta so much, but the rest of the country has been restricted for quite some time due to the pandemic. And so now we have vaccines that are about to go out. Those vaccines have to travel somehow. OK, now, not only do these vaccines have to travel somehow, right? It's going to be a lot of vaccine and vaccine products and things like that that have to move it's gonna be a lot okay and it's gonna be truckloads and truckloads and truckloads of things that are gonna have to be moved around now i don't know who's gonna get the contract or if it's just gonna go out to the mass market and say we need all kind of trucks and 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 there's gonna be every mom and pop truck is gonna have vaccines on them uh, and I'm assuming refrigerated, they're probably going to have to be reefers or something like that. But I don't know if everybody is just going to get an opportunity to move the vaccine. But what I do know is that if there is a truck that normally moves something else, but now it's going to be used to move vaccines, let's just say Amazon gets all the contracts for the vaccines. Let them just... Throwing something out there, right? Or let's say Ryder gets all the contracts for um, moving the vaccine. There are things that Ryder and Amazon already are moving. And I'm just throwing Amazon. I don't know. I don't know who's going to be moving, right? It could be anybody. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to write this up. But I know they're going to have to get it moved, okay? So the things that those companies are moving, that is going to leave a window for even if you aren't moving the vaccine, but there's milk that needs to be moved. There's something else that these trucks would normally be moving, but now their full attention is on getting this vaccine out. But these other things still have to move. Now, that's where the opportunity is. The opportunity is in the fact that, hey, we know these vaccines have to go out by the tons, right? It's going to be tons and tons of this stuff just sent everywhere, all over the United States, all in the Canada, all in the Mexico. It's going to have to go. It got to go. Like, it has to get out. And they have to pay, someone's going to have to pay for this stuff to be moved. There's money there, right? And the government has sparing no expense to get this stuff to the people, right? Now, here's another side of things. So let's just say the vaccines have to be moved in a reefer. I'm not even sure. I'm assuming that it would, unless it has some kind of cooling system where they can put it in a in a dry van or something. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to have to be moved in a, in a reefer. But let's say now all of this stuff 
let's say the reefers, they're going to have plenty of work. I don't even know how much per mile they're going to be getting. OK, I don't know. I've heard already that some reefers is getting or some some trucking uh, stuff is getting six dollars a mile. Now, I'm, I haven't even looked at the industry as of recent to like look at the numbers and see what's really, really going on. But like I said, I look at trends and I just try to predict what's coming. So I'm looking at these vaccines that have to go out. Not only do these vaccines have to go out, but during the pandemic, there was a lot of layoffs and a lot of uh, major trucking companies that did a lot of layoffs. But small trucking fleets actually did well from what I was told. OK, so there was a shortage of things going out or things being moved because not everybody was able like the, the country was shut down for the most part. There's a lot of things that were kind of, but now things is opening back up, you know? And so there's, there's some movement, there's definitely some movement, but once the vaccines go out, then tourism increases because now people are being released, like, because they're going to start reducing these government bans on times and curfews and whatever else. People are going to start coming off of the mask a little more. You know, like they're going to be out breathing around each other again. All these things is going to take place. Uh, products are going to be able to be sold because there are going to be people who can actually be in person and shop for it now. And on top of the online orders is bigger than ever, right? But there's still going to be more physical products that are going to be being shipped to stores or something else or delivered personally to someone's home, or whatever it is. So there's just going to be way more movement, way more parties, way more get togethers. All of that stuff means that, OK, if there's going to be more picnics, there's going to be more picnic furniture that needs to be made. There's so many birthdays and holidays and and weddings and and all sorts of things that were postponed and and canceled and all those kind of things that would normally require things to be delivered. And that is going to be multiplied by 10 as soon as the country, well, I'm going to say as soon as the country starts opening, but there's a lot of people who cannot wait for them to be able to do something. And they've saved up money for the last year. You know, so many trips to the islands from people that I know who paid in up front, you know, a couple thousand dollars because they was going big and they couldn't take that trip to Jamaica or, you know, to, to France or whatever. And they're going to they're ready to just, they got extra money. They're ready to go spend. And and then there's going to be jobs opening back up. So people start making some money and they're going to be just out living because everybody realize, realizes how valuable life is right now. You know, people have not ever, at least in my time, had been locked down and restricted to the level that we were restricted and locked down. Right. Birthday parties for kids like it's so many things and all of these activities. Cause products to have to be moved around. And that is why trucking looks very, very good to me. You know, I don't know if they're going to do like everybody keep talking about the AI stuff. I don't think it's advanced enough currently. Not really sure. I don't know if it has enough um, flexibility as far as government restrictions. I'm not sure. I haven't looked deep enough into what's all going on um, at a granular level. But I do know that there is going to be money, a lot of money coming to this trucking industry. And it's probably already sitting there just waiting to hit the green light on. Because these things have to be moved and they got to be moved rapidly. And it's going to be a continuation like over time. It's going to take a long time to vaccinate the entire country of the people who actually are willing to be vaccinated. Right. A lot of people don't even want the vaccination. But most people who I know or who I've seen are just waiting. You know, they're willing to take it. You know, so long as don't nothing happen to them. You know, everybody like, oh, I just want to see what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, like. There's going to be so much opportunity in other areas that we probably never even paid attention to prior to the pandemic. Uh, a lot of things are different. A lot of things have changed. And so, you know, I, I just know that when people are 
comfortable enough to start leaving the house and start having events and family gatherings and all this other kind of stuff and out at car dealerships buying cars. There's a lot of people who would have normally bought cars or or even rented cars, but they haven't gone out of town. They haven't taken a trip anywhere. Uh, they haven't even gone to, an app, to the airport in the last year. So it's a lot of things that are going to be moved around. Um, like, think about it. People are going to be taking more trips once the pandemic is open back up, which means that luggage, all this luggage over the past year that hasn't, that hasn't been sold because people weren't taking trips. Now, when people, everybody run out and start taking trips, they're going to need new luggage or they're going to want new luggage and they're going to go out. Those people who would have normally bought over the past year, it's going to be like two years or three years worth of people buying luggage. So it's going to be an influx of so many industries and all of that stuff has to be transported some kind of way on the ground. And that's why I'm saying I see I see some money in the trucking industry. So I think that the trucking the trucking business would do fairly well. You still want to like watch and see what kind of trucking business you want to go into and do some other research as far as like, you know, if you have a flatbed, I don't know if flatbed is going to be very good for moving the vaccine, but it might be good at doing something else. But I would definitely be looking at like what trends are coming, even though I think that everything is going to go up. But I would definitely be looking at what is going to be coming. Anyway, right now you watch your casino as a name. And if you find any value in this video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have some videos coming. I just did a video with uh, Sheena. Uh, it's going to be about government contracting. We did another one. Uh, she answered a bunch of questions about it, like what website to actually go to, how to get started, some good stuff. I also did a, a interview with uh, Jonisha. She has a uh, she has a makeup studio and a storefront boutique. Uh, she's only 24 years old. It's pretty cool. Um, so that be on the lookout for that. I got plenty of more things coming. I'm just storing content right now. I haven't even finished editing everything. So right now you're watching Casino as a name, man, and we out. Hey, yo, what's going on? Right now you're watching Casino as a name, and if you want to know how I started my trucking business, I have an ebook called Big Shot Hot Shot Volume 1 on your trucking authority. The link is going to be in the description. It'll pretty much tell you everything from if the taxes to different types of trailers and all sorts of things. It's a great book. Five-star reviews. Link will be in the description. Go get it. Get it. Me and her together, we just count it up Money on my mind, I can't get enough Don't play with my money, you don't want no beef Cause I come from the bottom, I come from the street When she first saw me, she said, who is that? When a man saw me, he called me a threat I'm the one that really did, what a rap They ain't never did it, they ain't really trapped Say you want to be successful, but what's stopping you? Can't nothing stop you from being successful except for you. You standing in your own way. I came from the bottom. I ain't know nothing but the grind. You can't tell me nothing about that. I called the Bustin' Basin Street Projects in Tallahassee, Florida. You hear me? I used to think a million dollars would last me my whole life. I'd have made that and spent that. A million dollars ain't enough. There are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? There's money everywhere. There's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today.
come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.